Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, Snip Not the Madden Cheese. As always, got another gameplay for you today. We're going to be doing uh, another Draft Champions. I have the 49ers playbook. I wanted to pick a playbook that gives me a little bit of a different uh, challenge. I also wanted to show you guys this nasty Draft Champions that I had. First pick, first round, I get Tyreek Hill. And then a couple of rounds later, I get uh, another super fast receiver from the same team. I get McCole Hardman. And then at quarterback, a few picks later, we get Michael Vick. I mean, this is going to be one of the fastest draft champions teams ever. I get two good line, two good running backs. I almost take Darren Waller. And then one of the last speed picks that I get is Chris Johnson. So my team is super fast on offense. And today's video is going to be all about offense. Today's video is top 10 tips and tricks and cheats uh, to make you a better offensive player. I already did a defensive version of this. I'll try to put a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but today is all about offense. Starting off the game, though, we have a really big special teams play. As that number one, uh, one of my top fast picks, uh, McCole Hardman, almost takes us to the house. Get a quick little juke there. And if I could have got a little more acceleration after that second juke, I probably would have been gone. But you can't complain about about the starting field position at the 33 yard line so one of the first things that i do whether i have my favorite playbook or the niners which i'm using now is i always start off pretty basic i start off just about every single game uh just with a simple stretch play i couldn't really find one right off the bat like i said i don't know this playbook as well as i know uh, my normal playbooks uh but i found a stretch play a decent stretch play um you know just to get a couple yards i'm happy with that a couple yards is fine i'm playing it safe so we get two yards to start the first play i find a better stretch play on the next series i mean you have to be aware of the the the, the game clock so you can't really um, you know spend too much time looking around but second play I find a little bit of a better stretch play a little bit more of a spread formation and I get the first down uh, the next thing you're gonna want to do for sure is you're gonna want to ID the user whenever you can see uh, where the user is that's a huge advantage because you're gonna want to basically call your plays away from the user as much as possible users don't do that they don't come down to the gap they don't come down to the line so I'm gonna hit him with a fake motion so he basically doesn't know what he's doing as you can see right there then I'm going to shoot to the flat on the left side, which is where I always intended to go anyway. I just wanted to confuse the user. Here's another one. Fake motion. Next tip, though. Stay ahead of the sticks. I mean, it's second and one. I could take a shot there, do whatever I want, but I want to get that first down. Staying ahead of the sticks is important. Don't put yourself in a do-or-die situation if you don't have to. Then I want to make sure I keep my running back fresh. I'm running the ball a lot. I'm, I'm basically using my running backs a lot. So make sure you use the substitutions. I think it's the LB or the RB uh, to make sure you're subbing uh, in your uh, in running backs because I'd rather have them uh, you know, help healthy on a third or fourth down you can see right here he's I, I put my running back right back in he's not fresh and you can see he's just not fast so next play you can see we definitely have a blitz here I mean it's a man aligned so I know that I got a man blitz coming so you got to know what your blitz beaters are very next play I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to hit him with a zig uh, which probably should have been a first down but a little Madden BS cost me as they don't have forward progress which is something they have to add uh, next play I'm just going to go for it fourth and one we're just trying to pick up a yard and sure enough we get it like I said critical situation got my running back nice and fresh so he can pick up that first down he got the acceleration that speed boost next play you can see the y route was there but the way that there was a linebacker just underneath it i didn't want to force it you know what i mean it's, it was only first down you got to know when you got to take your chances and take your shots so on the very next play i, I mean i take the sack i'm going to get these yards back down to the five now i'm going to do a die situation try to hit him with a toss play and it's just not there so once again i'm not going to force it. i'm just going to take the points i take the three points you know what i'm saying the game's way too early for me to think that i need a touchdown i can play with a lead and be happy about it so very next series on defense we hit him with a 4-3 wide nine uh which is a scheme that i nope. put out a long time ago i'll try to put it in the description as well if you guys want to see uh how this series works because i'm in a 4-3 playbook that's one of the downsides of using the niners offenses you got to deal with their defense as well but i'm getting a lot of sacks 4-3 wide nine is going to make some plays in this entire video you're going to see a ton of sacks uh because i can use any defensive playbook i'm not worried about it our very next play you can see right there the big nickel over g blitz uh which is in every single playbook that i put out not too long ago so moving on we get the ball we're pinned uh but the next tip is definitely run the plays to the open side of the field that's going to be key i mean i i could have if i ran this short side i would have ran out of field a long time ago but since i flipped the entire play run to the open side of the field pick up about 20 plus yards on a run where i probably would have got less than 10 if i didn't run to the open side of the field and then something that you should not do is do not be creative i typically want to run plays that i know work plays that i have labbed this is a series of plays right here a series of mistakes rather where i saw a route i was interested 
interested in it. I was thinking like maybe this will work. It did not work. As you can see right here, I throw a pick six, uh, basically because I was blindly throwing to the check down because I was watching the wrong routes. I don't know when I when I'm creating plays on the fly like that. I really don't know what's going to work because there's no real uh, relatability and it cost me big time. So very next uh, couple of plays, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go up top and make sure that we safe catch. Anytime we have a tight throw like that, safe catching is definitely one of the most broken things in the game, in my opinion. And then on the very next play, um, this is another play right here. Get a little too creative with the slant. I had the A route up top, which I tried to go for, but Vic has such a long throw release um, that he gets me sacked. That's one of the things that I noticed when I had him on my mutt team, but I wasn't really happy about it. And then once again, don't be creative. Once I never, I run a play like this, but I never do it with the running back in the route that he's running. And sure enough, it ends in a pick because I haven't tested it. I, I don't know if it works. I'm trying to figure it out. The fly and that's one of the worst ways to go so don't pick plays that you don't know what they do that you don't know what the results are the two worst plays of the game for me both came from me trying oh, out thinking myself and being creative and trying to you know trying to, to lab something on the fly and not knowing what the results going to be based off of the coverage so only use what you know works there we get a couple more sacks to end the half nope uh second half my opponent gets the ball like i said he's feeling the heat because you can see how quickly he's throwing the ball out i'm sending some crazy all-out man blitzes nope cover two blitzes he's lucky he didn't catch that screen right there that probably would have missed safety right there uh third and ten Sending the heat one more time. Like I said, these blitzes are all getting home. Once again, he's lucky he didn't get a safety. Uh, he's going to punt the ball out of the end zone and try to angle it. But I'm going to get another big return because McCall Harbin's probably faster than just about anybody on his team. As you can see right here, we're just stretching the length of the field because nobody can keep up with this guy. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the cheapest picks that you could get in a draft champions. Uh, starting over, I'm basically in the same position that I was at the start of the game when I got my first big return. So I'm going to do the exact same things. Like I said, you know, take, throw something basic at him. Don't take too many chances. Uh, very next series of plays. Go to the open side of the field. These are all fundamentals that you should be doing every single time you run your plays. This particular time, it would have worked, but of course, I got sacked waiting for my uh, my running back uh, to clear. And then, once again, safe catching. Like I said, very important here on a big third and long. We hit him with a safe catch. It's, it's just OP. You know what I mean? You can see right there, he probably should have had no business catching that ball, but he does. And then I finish it off with a low-risk, high-reward run, uh, which is why you have to play it safe. As you can see right there, we take the lead up three. 10-7 uh, ball game and uh, my opponent here he's just gonna you know he's gonna dink and dunk me a little bit like I said we're gonna go back to some of these blitzes trying to get this pressure there he barely gets it off but you can see the heat that I'm throwing at him he's getting home nine times out of ten that's really the basis of my defense next play I mean he's throwing it quick because he's feeling the heat that's one of the benefits of getting constant pressure then he hits me with a screenplay definitely a smart call going against somebody who's getting pressure on blitzes um, you know, he gets to a point now where he's starting to get a little predictable. You can see right there that he's running these this simple out route, which will definitely come up later. But uh, right there, you can see we get the stop. He kicks the field goal, ties up the game. Very next play, this is not an experimental play. I just make a bad read. Yeah. That stuff will happen. And I almost throw another pick six. This guy, luckily I get the tackle because this guy has had no success against my defense for the most part. He has a touchdown off a of pick six. Nope. There, he hits that out route one more time. The man coverage is all over it. Nope. Run defense is shut down. Um, you know, he's not really had a lot of success. And on the very next play on third and 12, uh, there's really nothing there. He tries to throw it across the field. I really should have came down with the pick. He forced it. I should have had a pick and a turnover there. But for whatever reason, EA just didn't let my guy catch it, even though I used it. And it probably should have been a catch. Very next series, I'm trying to go up top. This is a play that I've used quite a bit. The safety didn't really bite. Typically, he takes the crosser a little bit more, uh, but he actually came back across and made a really good play. So nothing you really do there, but I'm definitely throwing more picks than I'm used to because I'm using a lot of experimental plays. But that's good because, you know, this, this video is all about fundamentals. And in a game mode like this where you don't have the advantage of your favorite playbook or your favorite plays, you need, a, you, need you know, strong fundamentals. Gotcha, bitch. So we get the ball back on a pick right there. And once again, we're, we're kind of experimenting, but this is a cover three concept. I'm just taking a cover three concept that I know waiting for this route to cross and then i just go up and i user it which you know what sometimes you just got to make a play as this my as my man right here just gets mossed hey man you got mossed mvps of the game for me uh and then he hits me with that screen one more time his offense is definitely becoming very predictable where he's basically going screen and then he's going out route and then he's going screen i mean it's to a point where if you're going to continue to do that eventually you're going to get found out and that's something that you don't want to do in offense so another tip about that is do not become predictable you may have success with that for a little while, but eventually it'll go to the well one too many times and it will be dry. As you can see in this very next play, he tries to run that screenplay one more time and I'm just all over it. He has nowhere to go.
go. Takes the sack, which is probably the smart play because I might have picked that. Then on second and 21, I just sneak in like I'm going to come in on the blitz, come back and use her, and I almost get the pick. I probably should have got the pick there. Maybe I was just a hair behind. I definitely didn't have one of my better corners. I was using uh, one of the, the gold or silver ones that they give you. Very next play, once again, drop down all over that screen, and then on a fourth and forever, uh, we just get the sack off of one of our crazy blitzes one more time. So that offense was entirely shut down because he became predictable. You cannot become predictable. Uh, very next series, though, once again, I mean, I'm just I'm getting too creative. You can see all these adjustments that I'm making. None of these are from a play that I've ever labbed. Yep. And I throw my third pick on a play that I was creating on the fly. I mean, I would definitely recommend labbing your playbook before you take it online. That is a huge tip. But ultimately, um, I just wanted to have fun and play the game. So I didn't do that. As you can see right here, my blitzes are fire. They're coming home. Some of these are new, by the way. Some of these I never put out. So if you want to see them, hit the like button. Gotcha, As I get another pick uh, on the very next play. And uh, we're basically right back where we started. So under two minutes, we're not going to be stupid this time. We're just going to run some stretches, uh, run some run plays, just try to run some clock as much as possible. I'm happy uh, kicking a field goal because he doesn't have any timeouts. So it's to the point where I'm just going to go to him and take the safe play. Just, you know, just run up in the pocket with Michael Vick, take a nice easy field goal, run the clock down, and then sure enough, what? He gets that stupid animation where it's basically like a guaranteed block kick. Uh, luckily, he didn't return it because that might have been a, a real problem. But he, he did enough damage that he still has a shot here. So down four, he's got to score a touchdown. Pretty confident he's not going to get a touchdown on my defense considering he hasn't really done anything. Right there, I almost catch the interception with my butt cheeks. As uh, you can see, I mean, there's nothing really going on here. He get, almost gets sacked again. I mean, this heat has just been relentless on this guy uh, as he hasn't really gotten any offense all day. And he gets lucky enough just right there just to get a first down, just to get one more crack at a Hail Mary. I don't want to spoil it for you, but guess what? He's not going to get it. So that's it. That's the vid as I, as the ball goes out of the back of the end zone. If you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, like button, and let me know in the comment section, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.